Hello everybody, welcome back to my video and in this video, I'm gonna to show you how to create the login form using a bootstrap framework. Okay, so in the last video, we create a design login using HTML and CSS, but in this case, we will using the bootstrap framework. Okay, so if you have now installed the bootstrap, you just need watch my another video which install the bootstrap using npm or manually okay so you can download the bootstrap right here okay guys uh, we'll using the component for forms and we create login like this okay and here you go so I remove the style CSS and index.html. Okay. Okay, it's clear. Okay guys, so the basic things you need to do is only create the grid system. Okay, go into HTML and create the container and row and call md4 like this sorry guys i have mistake right here container and going truck of row and going truck of call md4 okay and then we need to create the offset go offset grid but i will not type right here we will type later okay so the second thing you need to do is using the form example okay we get the basic example right here and you can copy the codes and then you can paste inside the call md4 okay so i will remove the checkbox sorry i will remove the file input and you can change the name is remember me okay and you can remove the labor for and the id you can remove okay so i will change the email address for username and the type is shall be text and the placeholder it shall be username okay so i will save it and try to preview it into our browser okay this is we need to offset the grid because i will make it this wrap to be center so we just need to create the offset right here call md offset for okay we save it then preview okay it's centered okay so we need the uh, header title for our login form. I'm using the head to, and I just need to create the member login like this. And we need the margin, margin bottom 30 pixel. Okay, then we save it and preview. Okay. Like this case and next we put the class for our login wrap login right here okay and going to CSS and give the body is background color is f i f i f i and the wrap login margin top is 100 and give the background color is b000 and you can give the border solid one pixel and b000 okay so the background color is all be white fff like this okay so the next steps we need to do is create a padding for the bottom of wrap login and give the color of background is button submit okay 
we go into index HTML and give the button submit is button login. Okay, we save it and going to style.css if the button login is background to be right and the wrap login with the padding 20 pixel and give the padding button 50 pixel we save it then preview okay like this so we need change the color for button login and give the margin top color is FFF and the margin top is 60 pixel oops 10 pixel okay it's enough and next we need the box shadow right here but we will using the automatic CSS the website is cssmatic.com and slash box shadow and I have setting the box shadow like this guys we just need the decrease the opacity okay so we copy this text for our codes and going to wrap login like this then save it okay like this okay so maybe you need to put your logo right here in the top of wrap login so we're going back to row we create a new row right here and we create the call md for and call md offset for and you can use in the h1 for your logo is angarski.com we save it then preview okay so we go back to style css and give the raw login margin top is only 3 pixel okay like this and give the class of your logo is text center okay and you can give the style inline CSS to margin top is 100 sorry 50 pixel okay like this oh give the 100 okay decrease again give to 80 okay like this guys so we can change this text using a uh, google fonts i will change the logo like my logo in my website okay so I will create the my logo right like this case using a uh, exo font. We find the exo. Okay, so I get one, and setting the regular to be bold, and add to code, and you can import like this. Okay, we import to style CSS like this, and how to use it is only Discord. Okay, so we need class for logo. You can put the class is our logo and declare the new class in your CSS. And give the font family extra. We save it and preview. Nah, I got it, guys. So I will change the color to be red, like this. Okay. Okay, guys. So 
in the next steps we create the hyperlink for forgot password okay so we go back to index.html and we can copy this we can copy this code and pass in the bottom of login and then we can remove it and give the p and a href so you can give the label is forgot password click here okay so save it and preview like this and then we just need going to p class text center and give the inline css to be margin top is 60 pixel okay like this okay guys going back to header sorry i'm going back to logo and give the margin top is only 50 okay 70 okay all, all right all right all right all right guys so this is the form login using a bootstrap you can put your logo right here put the uh, header title for member login or register this is form for username and password and you can remember me and submit successful to login okay guys so congratulations you have designed the login form using a bootstrap framework and then if you have a question please let me know and don't forget to subscribe my channel Anga Rizky okay guys so i hope you can understand my tutorial and see you nice to meet you from indonesia we fell out of love like shooting stars came crashing down and we're building back up again now i say your heart say your mind say all you hide i won't let you go can't let this fight when you lose yourself i'll be right beside you i say your heart say your mind say all you hide